foolish human. Why don't you just start the main event already? You're so impatient. Do you know that the final moments of your lives are just around the corner? Well, see ya. Doctor, it's all you now. Dad! What are you gonna do to us now? You might not know this about me, but I'm kind of a movie fanatic. Remember that one about the dinosaur clones? Well, that movie inspired me to create demon clones. And this time, I collected only the highest quality selves from those clones to create this one. The ultimate final weapon! The true final boss! The true final boss? Finally, the time has come. Desko will meet her! So you know who it is? The true final boss? Yes, she is the completed form of the final weapon that defeated Desko and cast her into Hades. The final weapon, Desko, perfect version. Her name is Des X. So she is the main event? The true final boss! She looks a lot like Miss Desko. A lot? The only thing different about her is the color! Was that a cost-cutting tactic by the creator? Explain this to us, lass. Don't ask me! Go ask my dad if you really want to know. Shut up, scum! You! How dare you call my lord scum, being that you are a mere man-made monster? What's wrong with calling scum scum? I am the most powerful true final boss, Lady Desex! Des... X... Well, well, what a surprise. I didn't know who to expect, but... I didn't think I was gonna see two of the punks I killed before. Two? Why do you keep getting in my way? Do you want to be killed again? Huh? Why is that? Desko? Fuka? <gasps> ah, so it was you! You were the one who attacked me! That's right. I killed you with my own hands. That's two witnesses now, including your father. And this time, it's the killer herself. Last, it's been proven already. You are already dead. No, I am not! See? I'm here. I'm alive. Look! So you haven't realized it, huh? How annoying. Okay, well, I'll just have to kill you over and over again until you accept it. <laughs> Be my guest. Shut up! I am totally not dead, and this is just my dream, so it's impossible for me to die. That's right! Plus, Big Sis has Desko, and Desko will not let Big Sis die! <laughs> Listen to you, Desko. Have you forgotten how you were killed so pitifully after trying to keep up with my functionality? Never! That memory is embedded inside Desko's memory chip. But Desko isn't the same Desko you faced back then. Desko will not lose! Are you saying you've been training in Hades or something? Give me a break. You're kidding, right? You're just a prototype. A test model they created in the process of completing me! No matter how much stronger you've gotten, there's not even a 1% chance for you to defeat me! That's... That's not true! Desko is my little sister! Me, who's gonna be the ruler of Earth, and Desko, who's gonna be the strongest final boss! There is no way this golden and gorgeous duo will lose to you! Big Sis... Oh, what are you talking about? You're just a ghost. A dead human. 
Whatever. I'll just smash you, along with your soul, so you'll never be able to talk to me like that again. I won't let that happen. I'm not going to allow any more of this autocratic crap by humans. If the entire human world becomes evil, Celestia will be out of business. For our future profits, I back Miss Desco up entirely. And for free. For now. All is for my lord. I will kill whoever stands in my lord's path to supremacy. Jeez, none of you can just admit that you want to help me and Desco? Everyone, Desco is so happy! Desco is feeling more energized. This must be the power of friendship. This is a great lesson for a final boss. Mm-hmm. Finally, this is starting to feel like the main event. Everyone, let's win this battle! For Desco and the Lass! Know your place, scum! I'll kill all of you if that is what you wish! Alright, now it's time for the true final boss, apparently. The Des X title class final boss. The final boss created by Dr. Smithy, the final version of Desk Oh and Fuka's Killer. Pretty much she is exactly similar to like Tesco when you fought her, but a lot higher stats and she hits very hard. And we have this no entry panel, which makes things a little bit of a pain in the ass for us. Here I come. Yeah, but now question is Here I come. How are we going to This Brace yourself. This fight here to be honest is kind of challenging. Not gonna lose. You honestly need to be very and I mean very careful on uh, trying to avoid getting your units KO'd here. Try to prevent it at all costs to be if you can. Okay, good. So I can hit. I hit one of them and they good they still have just about the same resistance as all the others. No, I need to get a little closer. Dang it. Okay, good. I can hit them right from there. God bless me. Uh huh. I'm going to need to hope this works. Yep, starting off first by just trying to eliminate these guys. Oh, 
Huh. Well. Forgive me. They seem to have lived. Go to hell. Let's just end the turn for now and see what happens. I saw that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that count actually changes for a do not enter, which means. Oh crap! Oh crap! That's all I'm gonna say right now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a little bit of a retreat, temporary retreat, back. Hopefully, Desex doesn't start moving. Hopefully, I need to check her movement range. Okay. If anything, those suits would move first. Huh. Yes, as I thought. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, these guys hit hard, so be careful. Trying to be very careful as I fight these things, because to be frank, I don't want to. I don't want to be too close to. Really, I missed. Really? Are you... How in the world am I missing? Uh, 
Uh, move you back a bit. Move the printy in, and... Oh, really? Here I come. I don't care if you get on 10%, I just want you to either die or blow up. Okay, good, you died. She's actually level 78. I thought she was 79. Wow. My calculations are off. That's trying to avoid too many people grouped together. Oh god, here she comes! Okay, uh... Yeah, she's beat to fire. Let's just first see how this goes. I might have to make a sacrifice play. Okay, good. It's just her. How far can... Here I come! Okay, yep, I'm gonna have to make a... I'm gonna have to make a sacrifice play here. Please let this be enough. Okay. Uh, this is not something I'd like to do, but sacrifice play, go! Okay. Okay. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, she died, so... Oh, weak to wind. Hey. Let's first get everyone in position, because... Okay, so, Misa can go right here. Fawn can go right here. I guy can go right here instead. Pretty can go right here. And Artina, can she? Yeah, she can reach Death X from there. Good. Okay. 
Oh, wait, um, hmm. Oh, wait, I could do this still, probably right. Let's do that. Okay, good. Yes, that's right, that's good. And then a head splitter right there. A pretty barrage right there. Let's do a arrow trap as well. A mega wind right on her. A wind followed by to finish it all up. A hurricane slash. And a dual canine fist. Okay. We are good. We got everything set. Let's pray this works and see how many hits we can land on her before taking her out. Okay, good. Good. Yes, the hit count is rising. This is going to be some crazy damage. Come on! Come on! We can do this, guys! She's nearly dead. There's a few more hits needed. Because she has a lot of HP. But with this, she's pretty much done. I didn't even get to do the hard cannon move! <sighs> oh, but that was so... Ah, oh, yes, we did it. A good gang up attack on her. <sighs> Fortunately, it's not over yet. two would have won that battle on your own. We helped you win, you know? <sighs> that was a lot of trouble. Sure, true final bosses are a lot of trouble, I suppose. No, I'm talking about the lass's father for creating that thing. He created a final boss to destroy the human world. Does he hate humans as well? He was a weirdo to begin with, but I didn't think he wanted to destroy everyone. Maybe he just went crazy after Mom died. You don't know anything. You have no idea. You don't know a thing about your own father. His thoughts and motivation, nor the reason why he became one of the villains. What's your problem? Why are you yelling at me? You don't know anything. Just because you're his daughter, you expect that you can act however you want and still be loved. In comparison, Desko and I are only artificial beings. We'll never be his real daughters, no matter how much we want to be. So, what's your point? Shh, Miss Fuka. Just listen to what she has to say. She might just be... I can't be his real daughter. I knew that from the start. But I still envied you. I hated you so much. So I killed you, to make you disappear from this world! But you still had the nerve to come back afterwards! You're still trying to have Daddy all to yourself! You... really? Des X, Daddy is also Big Sis's Daddy. It's sad, but we're... Shut up! Daddy is my Daddy! He's mine and no one else's! Buka. Desco and your stupid friends, you're all eyesores to me! Die!
Huh? That's the reason you killed me? Screw you! Seriously, you really pissed me off now! Daddy, Daddy, I have no idea what you find so great about that stupid old man. I'm gonna beat you up and put an end to your fantasies! Um, yeah. One... This... Death Hex is definitely what people consider Yandere for Ugo's father. And... Two? She has a second form! Yeah. No much difference except she has a new level T, which... The lower HP gets, the stronger she's gonna become. Yeah. This is the reason why, and notice, nine use dispatch. Because I only have 9 out of 10. Yeah, you have to be careful in the next fight, because if anyone falls, you don't get to use them for this fight. All the damage is still kept there. Annihilation! Ready, I'm going to just try and bait... Came out with a pretty. Not gonna lose. Meanwhile, I'm gonna just pump Desco back up. Are we good? Go to hell. And oh wow, man, you just jumped to level 79. Nice. Yeah, Fuka has a new ability as well, which we will. Get to that in a bit. We're gonna just recharge her MP in a bit. Oh, okay. Good, these two are fully recharged for what I have in mind. And sorry, my pretty buddy, you're gonna have to be a sacri- Really? She didn't- No, no, no! Not yet, Des- Go, oh, not yet! Not yet! We're gonna let the two sisters handle this one. This is their show for right now. Will it take to refill her and her speed back? Are we good? Yeah, that should be good enough. Come on! Ow! Ow! Not yet. Needs to be a little bit cl closer. She needs to come a little bit closer. So let's just do some light damage to her first. Oh god. Oh god. Well, no way in hell am I pretty surviving that now. Or it could. Okay, I'll just go with that then. But guess what? Now it's my turn. Go to hell. Yes. And How to taste like your own medicine, Desex! Desco is the one true her sister. And let's see. 
<laughs> My plan worked. She has zero SP. Now all we need to do is finish her off. Okay, and now Puka has her ultimate skill. She is so dead. Well, she is so gonna die now, but. That's what I was gonna teach you a freaking lesson, Desex. Ow. Ow. Yes, go back up as well. Come, now all you can do now is just regular attacks. Poor Desex. Be enough to just help her stay in fused form. Yes, it is. I'm trying to keep let's go in her fused form. And let's just let Valvatoras and Fenric watch for now. Just let them sit in the sidelines and watch, because this is the sister's battle. I'm sorry, I just want Desko and Fuka to get the final kill here. Oh god, that's not good. Now in the end... Just boost attack a bit and... Have another one of this.
Dang, she has a lot of health. And let's just end the turn there. Unfortunately, Desco has fallen. Now, it's just up to Fuka. Yeah, I saw that coming, but... Hey. Fuka's... Uh, you know, does... Oh, wait, that's one of her... Extra skills, what am I saying? So, yeah, eh... Uh, Attack boost. And have another <laughs> Prinny Kaiser X. Dang, you just won't die. There, that should be enough to finish you off. Oh god! Yeah, let's put Fenric away for now. And the final blow is now. Goodbye, Desex. It was nice knowing ya. Yeah, to be frank, I didn't rush. I didn't want to rush in because I knew this battle was gonna be ugly. So I wanted to take. What? Really a measle. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. For what's supposed to be the true final boss, she just won't die. She's already almost dead. Come on. I like how Bowser's just standing by the explosion, acting cool. Whew! It's over at last. We finally beat her. What are you? You're just a human. A dead one, to be exact. Where is all this power coming from? Fuka! Damn! How did she power up like that? Um, I don't it's know. It's no big deal. It's probably just an adrenaline rush or something. Um, I doubt That's that. That's not important. I'm just really mad right now. You're mad? Please. There's no way I'll admit this defeat. I still see the energy in her eyes, as expected from the true final boss. That's right. Until I kill every single one of you, I won't. I won't. Ah! Desex has begun to regenerate! I don't remember equipping her with that- Ah, oh, come on! This is amazing! You're amazing, Desex! Amazing? Do you even know why she's able to do this, Dad? 
No, not at all. You're so stupid, Dad. You might be a genius scientist, but you're the stupidest man ever. If you weren't like this, this wouldn't have happened. Desco wouldn't have been thrown out! I... I didn't have to die. Finally, you admit it. So you finally admitted it. It's about time. Ah, uh, indeed. It's settled that you're a pretty. Shut up. That's not the point right now. I'm talking about Dad. After Mom died, you escaped into your work and left me all alone. You created Desco and Des X, but you ended up making them feel the same way I did. What are you doing, Dad? Don't you care about anything besides your research? Don't you ever think about our feelings? No, I... Big Sis, you don't understand? Daddy loves you. How can I believe that? Daddy talked about you all the time. Like how you wouldn't take baths with him anymore, how you treat his laundry like filthy objects, or how you stole money from him. Miss Desco, those are just simple complaints. Is there anything more heartwarming? Um... Well, let me see. Oh, he bragged about how sweet you are at heart, even when you were in your rebellious stage in middle school. He still has the portrait of him that you drew when you were five. He even showed it to Desco. Daddy's favorite story of you was when you two went to a summer festival when you were only four years old. He had to look for you for hours because you got lost, but you had already gone home by yourself. But still, Daddy was so proud of you for that, he said that you were already an amazing child by the time you were four. Hmm. Not that I remember. Everything he does is for you, including his research. You're the only one who doesn't know that. No, you're uh lying. He focused on his research because he wanted to escape from everything after Mom died. That was what Mommy asked Daddy to do, to continue his research, to make your wish come true. My... wish? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Me, Desco, the demon clones, we were all created for you! That's how much Daddy loves you. No, that's not true! Des X is right, Big Sis. Daddy loves you. He loves you with all his heart. Um. No way! I don't believe it! What's my wish anyway? I don't remember wanting this. Um. You don't? Oh, you used to throw big tantrums about it. Mm. Pestering me and Mom all the time. Uh. You said you wanted a little sister. Oh, yeah, I did. But Mom died soon after that. Big sis. But seriously, you remember that from so long ago? And created these little sisters for me, Dad? That's right, wow. Luca. I created Desco and Desex just for you. He doesn't seem that bad anymore. Thanks, Dad. The final weapons, Desco and Des X, were not created to destroy the human world after all. They were the fruition of a father's love for his daughter, to make her wish come true. All of the misunderstandings that had piled up were resolved, and the defeated Des X was finally released from her destiny to be the final boss of the human world. This battle where a pretty girl and the kinship between her family members had saved the human world and netherworld would lead to the improved Prinny treatment movement in the future, which eventually led to Prinny War II. However, Prinny not War being II. aware of future events, Fuka and her father simply enjoyed their reunion. They embraced each other, reaffirming their feelings of love and happiness. Wait, what? Um... Aww, why not? I worked really hard for this. Did you really think I'd be happy to have these freaking killing machines as my little sisters? Now were you thinking? But, but, you're the one who wanted this. You said, 
I want a little sister. With advanced functionality, who is gonna help me take over the world? Ah. <laughs> uh. Trying to become a final boss for Fuka's sake, Desko? Yes, all is for big sis. Uh. And you're going to take over the world with Miss Fuka uh. as the final uh. boss? Uh. Yes, Desko was created to help big sis take over the world. Uh. Hmm, now I'm concerned. They're lying! They're totally making things up right now! Boy, I even have proof! Like the Christmas video, <laughs> when you were five. No, this isn't... You're just all trying to trick me! Tesco has seen that too! <laughs> Big Sis was so cute! Now I see. I didn't think you were normal, but I had no idea you possessed such ambition. It's only natural that you fell to Hades. <laughs> This is quite amusing. Yeah, with an ambition like that, it it's funny. fitting that she fell to Hades. No, no way! This can't be real! This is a dream! I know it! This is a nightmare! Enough fooling around, bastards! The hell's this farce? Fight Desex! One more time! Kill them all! Then all of humanity! No way! This is getting kind of boring. Um. Plus, I'll only listen to Daddy. Why don't you do it yourself if you wanted so badly? You... Who do you think funded your development, you useless puppet? <laughs> He's showing his true nature. This farce suits you rather well. Judge Nemo! Your ambitions have been crushed! Your Hades of destruction will never happen! Yeah, we pretty much stopped judging you for now, and we didn't even have to fight him. Huh. My ambitions have been crushed? <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Valva Torres. Wait. I've been what? setting up devices everywhere to prepare for humanity's destruction for a long, long time. You guys have only awakened another dream! A nightmare of demolition! The destructive might of Hades! A nightmare of demolition? Wait, what? That's right! I'm lighting a giant firecracker! The big round moon is gonna go... Come on! Wait, what? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Once again, looks, it's not over yet. An unbelievably shocking revelation is dropped on us after we suppressed a foolish rebellion in the human world. Is he really going to blow up the moon? The truth is! Did you know that various kinds of fish larvae are used in Chirimanjaco? I thought yep. Chirimanjaco was the name of an actual fish. <laughs> and there's more. It's the same deal with Kamage Shirasu. Ah! I thought the same thing about Kamage Shirasu. That's right. Shirasu usually refers to any kind of fish lava, but the lava of Japanese anchovies are the most commonly eaten shirasu. Okay, so? Next time, final episode, the Sardine Galaxy. Space sardines conquer the sea of stars. It's another page in the history of sardines. I will stop the destruction of the moon. Yep. Another chapter done, and another chapter coming up. But, once again, this is where I'm going to call it quits. And, unlike last time, I actually don't need some, to do some grinding. You're blowing up the moon? Yep. Are you serious? The moon? You mean, like the moon in the sky moon? Mm-hmm. The moon that orbits our planet. The moon is going to blow up? Oh no! We won't be able to admire it anymore! Um... You bastard! How could you go after the moon of all things? So much hatred towards humans. Isn't there any way to stop him? 
Hey, wait. H how are you gonna do that? Shoot a nuclear missile up there? Who knows? I don't really know the details either. Um. You don't know? I thought you were orchestrating this. Unfortunately, no. I wish I could finish the job using the technology that the humans invented themselves. But the good doctor and Des X ended up being useless. So I decided to go with Plan B. So you're gonna blow up the moon using the technology outside of Earth? Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. You're gonna use angels this time, aren't you? Hmm. Desco senses the arrival of a new final boss. No matter what kind of power he's going to use, all life will be lost if the moon is destroyed. We can't let that happen. Ah. Uh. Yeah, this is serious. There are going to be meteors falling from the sky, like in those disaster movies. It's going to be much worse than that, Fuka. Multiple tsunamis due to irregular tides, other abnormal phenomena from changes in our rotational energy. There won't be any chance for human survival. Oops. And the fear energy will be gone, along with the humans. So no more netherworld either. You sound like you're enjoying this. You're going to die too if that happens. Die? Uh, hmm. I wonder if I really will. What do you mean by that? Don't you have a plan to survive your own disaster? I don't know. I might or I might not. The hell? Please, stop this. You've done enough. You're not going to please anyone by doing this. He's huh? still ignoring He's totally her. Totally ignoring her. So he really can't hear the voice of an angel. Judge Nemo, I'll take this as a challenge. You've intentionally revealed your plan in the hopes that we'll stop you. Yep, that's exactly why I told you. Will you accept my challenge, Valbatores? Do I have a choice? So this is the kind of deal you struck with the president, eh? <laughs> Think it's unfair? No! This is how you try to get what you want? Then do as you wish. I'll crush every attempt you make, and then I'll crush that grinning face! Ooh, nice. That makes me want to see your face contorted with pain. Sounds like we're running out of time. Let's go, everyone! Um, are we really going... Indeed! We are going to the moon! Oh, boy. Final episode! The final battle! The moon, Earth, and the promise! Ah, uh, yep. Unfortunately, after I so wait, did I? I didn't even. Wow! Wow! Be so tense, Fenric. We will definitely stop the destruction of the moon, I promise. My lord. Plus, it's about time you started trusting the other members of the party. Yeah. The only things I trust are my own abilities and my lord, Valvatores. I will trust nothing else, nor will I rely on them. This is the way of Fenric. Ah, you're right. Let's hurry. On to the moon. So, how do we get there? Shouldn't your dad be able to prepare a rocket or some kind of a space shuttle for us? Mm hmm. This is the final battle! Desco wants something cooler, like a space battleship or, or a super robot! That would help a lot. It's not like there's just gonna be an old man and his bunnies waiting for us on the moon. Instead of wasting that kind of labor and money, I've already made a dimension tunnel to the moon. We'll simply need to talk to the Dimension Guide as usual. Then we'll instantly be on the moon. Well, that seems... What? That's so not cool! Boring! Where's the fun in that? Shut up! 
I'll turn you into floating space debris if you keep whining, you damn lass. How could you speak like that to Big Sis? Desco will never forgive you. You should only say those things when you're not hiding behind your older sister. I'm just saying. Yeah. Is it just me or is Benrick in a worse mood than usual? He might actually turn Fuka into floating space debris. It's only natural. The werewolf's power source, the moon, is being threatened. That's not the only reason. The moon is the symbol of my loyalty to my lord. Those who try to taint such a thing must be abolished as quickly as possible. Oh my! Did you hear that, Miss Desco? Something about the moon being the symbol of his loyalty to his lord. I'm super curious! Desco is curious too, Big Sis. What about you, Miss Volcanus? Yep, yep. The truth about the relationship between those boys is about to be revealed. It's sending shivers down my spine. Well. <laughs> oh, Miss Volcanus, that's a little vulgar, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> you too, Big Sis. You're drooling. Now, as we promised last time, shall we continue to work together to discover the truth? <laughs> Um, For all women like this? Um, I'm never getting married. Emizo solemnly vowed to the moon. Well, if that's something that happened, and really means. Emizo, before we end up, I'm gonna just do a quick check. Jessica will do her best! Guys, I am curious. I am, uh, hmm. Oh, wow, I, did, I really didn't upgrade it, so. <laughs> I just upgrade this. And one more. Because everyone's levels. Sh well, except for my healer and. Flan uh, should be good, but I'm gonna probably do some reincarnating and. I'm gonna probably do some reincarnating and. Do some more grinding. Yep, just get it up to rank 9 so that way I'm ready for this. So, yep, that should be it. So, returning to the base. Might be a while, might not, but I'm gonna possibly do some more grinding if I choose to reincarnate. If not, the next episode will be coming fairly soon. Or I might just hold out on the reincarnation before. I might just hold out on the reincarnation for a while, possibly. I don't know. Either way, that's it for now, so we'll continue this next time. Later, everyone.